Hi everybody, welcome back to Synthetic Biology 1. Let's talk about recombinant DNA. Although honestly, nobody calls it that anymore. That term went out in the 1970s like pet rocks and discotheques. But don't worry, we still have a cool, sciencey sounding name for it, gene cloning. This is the thing where we take two pieces of DNA from different sources, cut them apart, and paste them back together again. We can simulate this process very easily with DNA sequence editor software. These days you can copy and paste digital DNA sequences as easily as you copy and paste your homework answers from Wikipedia. Things get slightly more difficult when we work with physical DNA. Here, all of our cutting and pasting has to be done in test tubes using enzymes. Restriction enzymes for the cutting and DNA ligases for the pasting. We'll learn how to get physical with our DNA manipulations now separating DNA fragments and purifying them before we mix the new pieces together. In this project, we do basic restriction enzyme cloning to move a gene from one plasmid to another. We cut one sequence coding for a chromoprotein and paste in a new sequence coding for a fluorescent protein. It's one of these famous green fluorescent proteins or GFP variants that you may have heard of. Then, in this class, we often return to the notion that DNA sequences are composed of parts. But this is the first time we've actually put new parts together, so it's a good chance to get a little bit mm, philosophical about this idea of parts. How important, how new, how valuable is it to think about DNA as biological parts? If recombinant DNA has been around since the 1970s, what can the next generation of biologists do to bring it into the future? So until next time, stay groovy. Thank you.